Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. Hot box out of our three or four faces. Welcome back to another edition of the Smoke Box for Be Real TV. I'm Dr. Green Thumb, aka Be Real, with my special guest, Cron Gracie. You know what you like Cron like like Gracie of the, you know, legendary Gracie family. You know what I mean? Good to have you. Pleasure, man. You know what I'm saying? Good to be here on the show. In the back seat, we got our mutual homie. You know what I'm saying? Party life extraordinaire, hey, entrepreneurial boy. shit. You know hey, what I'm saying? Boy. Mr. Murph in the house. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, man? Pretty good. You all right? Good. good to see you. All good. We used to play paintball together. We, you know, we <laughs> talked about this off the air, Murph and I, you know, <coughs> played Will Smith's team. And we didn't finish the story out there, but... You know, no, there's no disrespect to Will Smith nor his boys that we played against, but we <laughs> smoked the fuck out of him on the pay, oh, paintball field. And Murph, you know, he was one of the heroes in that game <laughs> right there. He was going all out. Yeah. Murph was on one. But, you know, it's good to have you in the box, bro, because you, you know, you represent the athletes that are now stepping forward and... Um, <coughs> being out there like advocates for marijuana because of the therapeutic use and, and for the recreational use because it's your right mm -hmm. as an American and it's fucking cool to to see guys like you step out you know you're featherweight in the featherweight class right now boxing jujitsu trained by the you know <laughs> <laughs> trained by the family man I mean does it is, it is it a lot of pressure coming out with with the Gracie name behind you I mean right now you're four and no is you know if I did my homework right yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying I am a fan of, of mixed martial arts you know is, is it a lot of pressure coming out with the with the name behind you like that I think at this point you know I'm I'm past that, you know, but my whole life, you know, as a little kid, you know, I'm like eight years old and everyone's like, oh, fuck, this is insane. Like that. So I, I felt the pressure my whole life. And uh, as I get older and as I get older, I start to not feel the pressure as much because I don't, I don't owe anything to anybody, yeah. you know, and I don't, I'm not responsible to make yeah. my dad happy or to make my brother happy or to make all these things. You know, I can only do my best and I have to enjoy what I like to do. So at this point, I've passed through all the pressure. I was able to handle the pressure, you know, when I felt it. Right. And that's why they call me Ice Cream Crone. Ice Cream <laughs> Crone, yeah. Because I always keep it cool, you know, in these... in these. Uh, stay poised. Yeah, I tried to, I tried to. And, and that's it. And that's a hard thing because, I mean, it's big shoes to live up to, obviously. I mean, you know, the son of Hicks and Gracie, who was re regarded at one time <coughs> the greatest in the world in, in mixed martial arts, you know. So, you know, to come behind that, you know, and, and take that pressure on and just be cool is, that's a big thing, man. For me, you know, like, I, to tell you the truth, I never really was, like, fanatic about doing jujitsu as a little kid. You know, I like right. skateboarding, you know, I like hip-hop, all my friends, you know. I like that lifestyle way more and um, I got into jiu-jitsu seriously because when I was 12, <coughs> my brother was like kind of like talking to me and telling me to be, you know, 100% in whatever I do and be right. very like, you know, motivational about, you know, picking something for my life. And then but he was like, yeah, but you know, you got jiu-jitsu right here. You have like your whole family. It's foundation. You have all yeah. this, you know, don't, don't throw this away, but do whatever the fuck you want. Right. So he passed away shortly after that and I was like, oh no. Now it's not even about me no more. I got to do this for my brother. I got to do this for my dad. Right. So I, I embrace this mission and this journey fully representing my family and doing it for them, not right. doing it for me. I was like, fuck, I have to do this for my dad. I have to right. do this for my family. Everything is... So I felt like the responsibility to do that for, for those reasons, and I did. And I was like, okay, well, now suck it up and, and, and endure <coughs> what this life is going to have. And right. it's been like that since. And... Uh, I think, you know, like at, at this point in my life, I'm already past, I've proved everything to myself. I've past proven everything that, yeah. to my dad. To, it's like, man, I'm a, I've been on my own for now a long time. Now it's just about you. Yeah, how I feel, what I feel, my intuitions, what I feel, my gut, what I feel is the right. And that leads me to here because I've been smoking weed my whole life. And uh, now I feel like 
I feel like it's important for people to understand that you can be a functional athlete. It's true. And 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 smoke weed. I'm not saying you have to smoke weed all day long. I'm not <coughs> saying you have to not smoke weed or or do the, do it however you like. But I'm proof that there is a balance. You know, like right. When I was a little kid, I didn't like to smoke weed before training. You know, younger as I'm learning. Right. But I always smoked weed after training. I always smoked weed at night, and it was like a. At that age, I thought like, man, weed is bad. I better stop for jujitsu. I better stop because this is like a bad thing. And I had this whole propaganda in my head thinking that it was a bad thing. So I always tried to get away from it. But I always was like, no, I feel good when I smoke. I need yeah, this yeah. in my life. So I would always like, have this battle in my head. But then I got to a point where I was with Nick. And Nick's like, Chrome. <laughs> Chrome's like, he's like, dude, there's a propaganda around weed. Weed is it not is. bad for you. It's the truth. Medication. It's the truth, you know what I mean? Better for you than a lot of the fucking over-the-counter shit they're trying Every to do. over-the-counter shit, that's just poison. Under now, and over. Now, now, you said, like, you know, before you really took, you know, jiu-jitsu <coughs> serious, you were, you know, into hip-hop and, and shit mm -hmm. like that. What yeah. were you listening to, fuck? You, I've been listening to Bone Thugs, Tupac, you know. Um, I like Sublime, I like, uh, you know, every, I mean... There's so many names, you know, like, I like Atmosphere, I like Dilated Peoples. You got I a like good list going Action on there. Action Bronson, you know, out, yeah. it's coincidence because all these people are kind of mutual friends. Yeah, you know? we all I'm know like, each other, we're all friends, yeah. And it's all connected, you know, like, the same people, are, we were talking about this earlier, Murphy, like, if you're on the same page, you're on the same page, doesn't, it's like, you can't <coughs> take that. You, we can't mix with certain people, and those people can't mix with us, and that's the way it First blends. Better. What's What's the song you come to the ring to? Um, my last fight, I came out to the purge. It was just like a siren. It was like, <laughs> oh, you came out to the purge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> because I was pissed off at the Japanese people. They were trying to fuck me. And, like, the way it ends, they were trying to fuck me. And every which way, all these little always tricks, fun. always little tricks. So I always just had to fed it up. So I was like, I'm going to come out to the fucking purge song. Do you, do you think they got a grudge against, you, you know, your family name because you, you took like the a Japanese art form and reinvented it and now it's like Gracie Jiu Jitsu I think there there's a little uh, a little bit maybe you know but I think in general Mar Japan they're very martial artists you know they have like a lineage right. of like loyalty tradition and training respect. And all that shit and yeah I respect that and I like that but also, they want the Japanese fighter to win, you know. So when I go over there, For they're sure. not—they're not paying me to win. They're paying me to go see my neck get chopped off by a yeah. Japanese dude. Right. You know. So it's like, yeah, they're my friends and everything, but <coughs> really, they just want to see me lose to a Japanese dude. They want to bring the guy who could possibly <laughs> give you the L. Yeah. And of course. Yeah. That's what they did to me in my last fight, and that's what they've been doing, you know. <laughs> and they're not keep, resting. Keep they're not proving <laughs> them wrong, man. Keep proving them wrong. I'll do if, my you, best. if you weren't, if you weren't. If you didn't choose fighting, what what was the what was the other thing that was probably skateboarding? Skateboarding, skateboarding or surfing. Yeah, who, but, who, who was your who was your main influence in, in skateboarding? Um, when I was a little kid, I liked uh, Chad Muska. He was always going yeah. big, and yeah. um, he's dope. I'm trying to think of the guys that are. There was so many. I was never really a vert guy. I'm more of a vert guy now because I try not to get hurt. But yeah. I was always a street guy and like doing the street that, tricks right there on the. Yeah, so I liked all the street guys like Chad Muska and uh, I'm trying to think like man, it's been so long since I've been a fan of these guys. But man, all those guys that go big and just do but the. But that's what had you into boarding up. Huh? Yeah. It's crazy. Like I, I never was like a technical skater, like doing all these. And like, I used to just like, oh man, I can't do that sweet trick, so I'm just gonna ollie off this roof or, you know, do something yeah. crazy to just be cool to be in, you know, to be able to hang out and skate. Do you think you would have jumped in some of the competitions that they have now? Because there's so many. They got the street. They got the vert. They got yeah. If the I was freestyle, all that shit. Yeah, I definitely think if I was skating, if that was my job, I would have I would have went with the same intensity that I do jujitsu. You know, I would have went full force. So hell yeah. But now that I learned jujitsu, I can go back to anything and be like, it just takes it just takes time to learn. You know, you just have to sit yeah. there and learn it and and enjoy it, and you can learn anything. You can yeah. learn do anything. You can absorb it. Yeah. The knowledge is right there if you if you want to apply yourself to it. Hell yeah, that is that is the truth of it. So who do you like in, in, in martial arts or in, in MMA or do you like Nick Diaz? Oh, is, is man, that's, those guys? man, that's that's 
that's a hard question because there's so many motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Like the Diaz brothers, both of them, man. Those are my dudes too, oh, man. Always yeah. been fans of those guys because they'll bring a fight. Win or lose, they bring a fight to the table. And it can always be debated on who actually won right there. You know what I mean? So they're so off the top. They're, those are my two favorite, you know, fighters right there. Um, you know, Anderson Silva yeah. and John Jones, they, they were, you know, I thought they were pretty good. I think they still are. Yeah. I think John Jones is still a bad motherfucker, but um, I don't know. There's so many. Man. Yeah. There's so many. What What's the match you would like to see as a, as a fighter? Who do you want to see fight? I want to see Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. You know, I think that's the that's the only fight with Nick Diaz against uh, George St. Pierre or Nick Diaz against, uh, you know, a big fight. Those, because those guys are really the only fights I'm really interested in watching. They, not. they bring real fights. And, yeah. and for me as a, before I started training with them, I knew about them. And I was like, man, these dudes, they smoke weed, they do triathlons, and they <laughs> box, they're badass. I was like, man, yeah. I'm going to fucking train with these motherfuckers. They weren't like, the stereotypical stoners. That, yeah, that Those two guys were prime examples is that you could be stoners and function like on a high level, no pun intended. So I was like, I smoke weed. I was like, I'm going to go with these dudes. And uh, man, it's been like the best thing I never knew was going to be. I never thought I would learn as much, not as just in martial arts, but as a man and as a human being. Those guys are like, I owe a, a piece of my life for them, you know? We got to get them in the box. Yeah, here. they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> I talked to Nate the other day. He's like, man, I'm going to do that show too. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Word. But this guy Murph right here too, man, he also, I wouldn't even be sitting in this chair if it wasn't for him, man. He's the man right there. You no, know, he saved my life. You don't understand. Like, he saved my life. Like, I was fucking choking on my vomit, fucking dying, and he saved my life. So, like, this dude, he's like, all fun and games, he could be as crazy as he could be, but dude, without him, I wouldn't even be sitting in this smoke box, so. He's the fucking guy, man, <laughs> trying to tell you. I know. I'm my yeah. brother's keeper. Saw my life. I saw my whole life fucking, fucking flash between my face, and then like. So that shit is real. That you know, like right <laughs> at that moment, everything fucking. Yeah. Pops you realize up. a lot when you come back, dude. You realize what's important, you know. Hell yeah. And that's you know, it's like it's important for me to do the things as if it was the last day I was alive. It's important for people to see that I'm smoking weed because it's good for me and I feel it. Not that you have to, but that. You know, I'm leaving something. No yeah. matter what, everywhere I go, every play, person I talk to, everything I do, I'm leaving something, and, and that's important in life. It, and indeed, it is. You know what I'm saying? You 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 got a you got a fight coming up, right? I'm actually, I just fought New Year's Eve. You just fought New Year's Eve. And uh, I'm renegotiating my contract right now, so we're like in this whole like negotiation. That's the biggest fight is the contract. You yeah. know, like fucking they're doing this and I'm doing this, so. We're negotiating right now, and we're gonna see you. So, who would you like to fight right now? I mean, I I, I want to fight a big fights, you know, fights that are tough guys that have a big name, that have a, you know, a big that are gonna make a big fight, interesting fight, not like somebody who's just coming up, you know. Like I fought right. my last guy was a, a experienced, tough opponent. Yeah. Who everybody thought I was gonna get beat up, and I I beat him. So I'm like, now you guys see I'm on my level. You guys see what I'm bringing to the table. This is an art. And I'm an artist, so you gotta pay me for this because I'm an artist. I've been working my whole life since I was a little baby to get to this point and show you this show. Because I'm putting on a show for you guys. Like a slave, like a gladiator. Like go there and fucking go there and fight the lions. And if you survive, you survive. And if you don't, you fucking die. So it's well, like. That's what it is, yeah. you know. It is. It's what it is. It's like some gladiator it shit. It is. And it's like those are slaves. So it's like, no, I'm not a slave. I'm gonna get paid. You guys aren't gonna just. You guys aren't just gonna just slave me up and just put me to fight. I've been fighting my whole life for free, you know? Right. So it's like, now it's time for some money. So, so obviously other other federations have come after you, like to... Yeah, we're, we're talking. We're so, talking. We're seeing what's yeah, up. Yeah, so you got some options to, to think about right now. I'm huh? not, I'm not in, in a, any, under any pressure. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Shit. I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, your lineage is... is uh, is uh right there so all, all the all the guys that see what you're doing and, and seeing your record and how you're how you're doing these fights you know they're looking at that shit and they're like we got to have this dude right here 
So I, I can imagine that uh, you got a few options out yeah, there yeah. right now. It's, it's all good, you know. Word up. Life, life will take you where it needs to take you, so. Yeah, for sure. Who, hey, so obviously it's it's been in the news for a long time. Conor McGregor, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. What do you what do you think about that? You think you think uh, Connor's overstepping, or do you, or or do you even think that fight's gonna happen? I think it's gonna happen. I think there's a lot of money around it, and then it, it, right now, if money money rules the game, you know. So I think that they're trying to make this money fight happen, and I think anything can happen in a fight period. You True. know, like anything can happen. You get caught. You, you get, get caught. caught. You make a mistake. That's the reality of a fight. And, that's the truth. But if we're talking like just generally, you know, I think Mayweather, you know, is is, is he's too fast. Unbeatable, you know, he's, he's like too he's too unbeatable. In boxing, in he's boxing, too fast. he's he's like he's got his his ways and stuff, and and he can do that for more than five rounds. He can fight there forever, you know. He does long rounds, so. It would be it would be a surprise if if McGregor came out on top, but you never know. You know Mayweather's at the falling of his career, like the end 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 of his career. Yeah, it's like he doesn't really want to fight anymore unless it's. And for... McGregor, he's the one <coughs> more hungry. Yeah. You know for this, so who knows? But you never know. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's why you, that's why we got to buy the pay per view, right? Fuck. Yeah. How is he even able to like step right to like? Because because he's got so much Maybe around him. Yeah, because it's a it's, it's an exhibition money. fight. Yeah, anyway. it's gotta be yeah. an exhibition. Yeah, just and that would be a big exhibition a, fight for sure. It's a pay per view yeah. fight. You know, yeah. it's like if you get a fucking lion and a and a and a gorilla to fight for pay per view, everybody's gonna want to watch it. It's, it's crazy. Stuff. <laughs> it's crazy because they Shit say it's crazy. happening. We'll see. Yeah, Connor we'll he acts like so cra he acts so crazy and he puts on this act. He goes like he plays this role. To get the the viewers, but he's playing a role, you know. He's he, he's 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 like he's like he's yeah, putting he's on something. He's playing it up, and that catches up. It catches up later. You put on an act, you know that uh, shit yeah. catches yeah. up. It already did catch up because Nathan already choked him out. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, I was we in the did corner see for that. that. You were in the corner for Fuck, that. Fuck, dude, I was like. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, we saw that. That was that was that was. I mean, a lot of us knew that was gonna happen. But um, so my last question, and it's always the last question. It's like a two-part question. <laughs> what's what's your? Do you do dabs? You do the concentrates? Um, I have, but I'm not like, I'm not big on the dabs. You're more flower. <coughs> I'm more like flower. I like the flower because even like the vape, I feel like when I'm training hard and I'm doing, I can feel it. You know, you the vape, I can yeah. feel it in my. And the same thing with the dabs. It's like it's an extra little sticky and. Flowers easy. When I smoke weed, I can do anything. I'm gonna do a triathlon this weekend, yeah. so I smoke weed before a triathlon. I always smoke weed, but when I start smoking the dabs and the vapor, I can feel it a little bit more. So I personally don't don't do that if I'm thinking about doing something. If I'm gonna pass out and just not do shit, then I could do something like that. I like the edibles a lot. Well, you like the edibles. Yeah, I like the edibles, especially if I'm gonna go to sleep because, like, if I'm training, like all week i'm not sleeping that much i'm running around and then on the weekends i'll eat like a whole fucking chocolate bar or something mm. and just pass out for 12 hours <laughs> recover get right my body on. like feeling good then i'm yeah. like okay now i'm ready for the next week so i like uh the edible i don't like to do shit on edibles i go out and do my day but if i'm gonna go to sleep and recover and get my look feel good yeah, that helps right on brother <laughs> what's what's your favorite weed we you like to smoke what's like your the f flavor or mm -hmm. endos tiva hybrid I, I like uh i like good tasting weed and i like sativas generally generally uh, during the day i smoke more sativas and then at night i smoke more indicas and um and that's kind of how i try to keep my days of course if you don't have the sativas you're gonna have to smoke whatever you got yeah day, exactly but, but if i could pick out I, I pick a real good sativa real strong sativa and then at night i'll do a real strong indica and, and get ready for bed because <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, well, I want to thank you for fucking taking time for, to be in the box thank with you, this. Man. You know what I'm saying? Good luck on everything and shit. We'll, they, you know, they'll boop, definitely boop. be watching for you. You know what I'm saying? Support my man right here, Ice Cream Cron Gracie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, check out when the next fight's coming up. 
And uh, where could they find you? You got social media. Yeah, I got uh, on Instagram. Anywhere. It's Chrome Gracie's, uh, but it's really real kid. But you can find Chrome Gracie real oh, kid. Chrome Gracie, yeah. right? I was saying yeah. Cron. Chrome and, and normal Gracie. everybody. That, Nate yeah. still calls me Cron sometimes, and I'm like, Nate, then you know my name is Cron. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. It's it's the same. Man. It's all good. Whatever it is. Word up. I love guys. Word up. Leave comments. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck with Chrome Gracie. You know what I'm saying? Ice cream Chrome. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Boom. Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. Hot boxed out about three or four faces.